Hey, Rachel Channel Creative Writing Pros. I'm Robin, and this video will be me listing 15 reasons why I write prose. One, I want to be an author in the next five years or so, hopefully sooner. Two, I love creative writing. I hated writing essays and reports and all that academic stuff in high school and uni, but I love the freedom and the fluidity of writing fiction. Three, I just love making up stories. If I could get paid to essentially life for a living, <laughs> um, that would be the coolest thing. <laughs> for I can't stop thinking up creative made-up stories if I tried, I just couldn't do it. Um, every so often I actually have a new idea and obviously those ideas right now are going on the back burner because I'm doing Demon's which is Past, um, I'm working on Demon's which is Past, but um, it's also sort of comforting to know that that's not going to be my only idea and I'll have other things to work on throughout my writing career. Um, not that my writing career has properly started yet with the whole income thing, but you get the idea. Five, the rules of poetry are complicated. Um, especially in WA, it's worse, apparently. Um, yeah, they, in WA they tend to make up their own rules because of silly reasons, and there's this whole rhyming versus not rhyming thing, and I don't want to get into that drama. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you love poetry, good for you. I don't mind poetry actually that much, it's just, yeah, some of the rules are really complicated um, when it comes to different types of poetry, so yeah. Six, as I mentioned earlier, I hate the formalities of essays. The formatting is very oppressive to me, essentially. Seven, it's art, not a science. There are certain protocols and things when it comes to a story, but there's always a new way of doing it, so yeah, I like that freedom. Eight, I write prose because I want to read books that I actually like. I have, in my younger years, been incredibly fussy when it comes to what I like to read, so I figured at one point, heck, I'll just write my own books. <laughs> Nine, writing helps, writing helps me let go of my feelings, my uh, emotional baggage, my old wounds and things like that, old scars and yeah, it's therapeutic. Ten, I, ten, I don't want to just consume and not contribute to the world. 11. I don't want my ideas to die with me. I heard this expression before somewhere by someone, probably on an Evan Carmichael video, um, by someone else who said something about um, if you want to go to a place where there's an abundance of ideas, it's pretty much any local cemetery because a lot of ideas go untried, untested, and evidently forgotten, so yeah, I, I don't want that to be me. <laughs> Twelve, um, for the most part, apparently I never really felt like I fitted in well with other people aside from writers. I never really got that feeling of acceptance and um, understanding while well, when I talk to writers, I get it. I get the struggle. I get the um, creative inspiration and the intense emotion of feeling inspired and things like that. Thirteen, talking about writing fiction makes me high. <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, I mean, I think everyone has something which makes some topic or something that they like to talk about that just makes them go emotionally, you know, hyper and happy and giddy and all that sort of thing. And for me it's writing. Fourteen, writing builds my confidence. It's something I can do alone, which I enjoy usually, <laughs> and it's something where I have total control for the moment. Once I get beta readers and editors and things like that, it won't be like that, but for now it's very comforting for me. <laughs> fifteen, the final reason, and we're at fifteen, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, this one's a more intense one. It's, um, the final reason why I write is, um, I write because during primary school and I write 
because during primary school and high school, I was told indirectly by a lot of teachers that I would never be good at reading and writing, um, that I'd have to rely on, that I'd have to have good spelling to ever do well and that sort of thing, and that um, essentially I would never be very good, any good at it. And every time I write, um, it's kind of like saying, yeah, I can, you were wrong, <laughs> someday I'm going to um, be a sort of B grade or C grade celebrity, I guess, and you're going to be regretting telling me that I couldn't write. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's empowering for me. It really is. Um, that's it for this video. Feel free to comment down in the comment section down below about why you like to write prose or have an interest in writing prose. And, um, yeah, share this video, like this video, and check me out on well, subscribe to my channel, of course, and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description. Keep being creative.